how did that work? Well, because that worked out nicely. Because Flint, because guys, in thought outside the box. <laughs> because Flint, because Flint, because <laughs> because Finn thought outside the box. Yay! <laughs> Even in okay. this game, Flint's character is <laughs> me! <laughs> uh, uh, Victory! Right. Uh, uh, uh. So Sean just moves out. Well done, Flint. Like, he suddenly like, stumbles and just throws up on the ground. Oh, oh god. Oh. Just lying oh, on boy. the ground going, I'm not dead. Death didn't get me this time. Yeah. I'm still in pain, though. Sean okay, then, my... Uh, oh, I hear... I'm up. Flint, uh, Flint grabs his, uh, his medical tools. Oh boy, hero's work is never done. Why I mean, I can... is... You, you go it. take care of them. I'm gonna... Oh boy! Oh, Adrian! I'm not gonna go... Dear, may yep. I cast Soothe on myself? Yes, you may. Thank you. If it's just like, herp first. And why is it not... There we um, go. Yeah, there, there you go. You're underneath... Okay. Alright. So, what do I do? Did that work? Alright, you, all right, you just hit, you just hit the, yeah, you hit the healing button. Okay, I'm gonna roll treat wounds for Shylin. Her first, her first. Oh, did, didn't she say she cast a soothe on herself? Yeah, yes. I got yeah, I, did. I get healed yeah, for 14 points. Yeah, but I know. Yay! Alright, alright. <laughs> You're good, he says to Cora. I'm not dying. That's who's di who's dying the most? I'll, I'll take care of them first. Uh, fine. Sky. Okay. Ooh, that's good. Oh. I'll, 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 I'll heal him as soon as I'm done with Shailen. Uh, just go to him first. I'll be fine. Are you sure? I'm already I'm here. Sure. Like, no, you won't! You've me. already screwed up! I'll be fine. Just help, Adrian. You're here. I'm healing you first. You are in worse shape than Adrian is. Just an being a fool. Let's go practice medicine. Yay! You know I wasn't the one held in a pincer for like wow, 10 months. Wow, he's good. Into a yeah. stone. Hoshimi looks. Uh, Hoshimi looks Shylan dead in the eye, and she she aims her hand towards Adrian. Click the right thing, you dumb woman. You're good. And she healed. All right, so uh, Flint Flint is treating uh, Shylin's wounds, and he he heals Shylin for twelve. Sweet. Flint oh, with both uh, Flint's uh, medical expertise and uh, Oshimi's healing. It's uh, Shylin is he's still sick from the venom. But he is, uh, I believe, at least the staff wounds patch. Actually, up. I have some. Wait, 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 I have something. I have something for that too. Did uh, did tree poison come up? Not that I saw. Ah, oh, there it is. Now dead. One minute. There it is. All right. All right. So Adrian's maxed up. Okay, so, uh, attempt a me- Alright, so, Flint, uh, attempt another medicine check. Okie dokie. Medicine, medicine, uh, med, 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 medicine is right here. Please be good. That's not bad. Alright, uh, Shylin, make another, uh, make another roll, make a, make a fortitude save. We'll do, we'll do, we'll do. That's good. That's better than mine this time. Uh, that is a that is a pass. Yay! Yay! Yep. With uh with Flint's expertise, you are able to uh, you're you're able to. <laughs> yeah. Let me let me put it this way. It's uh. If it, if it weren't for Flint, you wouldn't have passed that. And that is what we Thank in the medical biz say. Fit as a fiddle. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Yeah.
Well, that was interesting. Flint! Uh, Seven directly looks at him. Huh? You made that sound, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I did. Cool, right? DM okay. question. I would recognize that sound, wouldn't I? You've been in a lab your whole life. Yeah, you've been a la in a lab your whole life. I don't think you would. Uh, Ow. okay, I, I thought it was something instinctual that Gribbons would fear. No. <laughs> instincts, instincts are not conscious knowledge. Yep, oh, fair enough. Okay. okay. Hoshimi, however... Um, she is looking directly at Flint, and she is not smiling. Hey. What are you? A little uncomfortable? Now she gets- she kneels down so she's right in his face. I can make you even more uncomfortable. So huh? answer the question. Oh, there's she? There's no way a humanoid could make that sort of sound easily. E or even with practice. So I will ask you once again. Hold on a second. I will ask you once again. What are you? Whoa. Uh, Seven is now, uh, tugging at her skirt. Not like, not like, really hard, but just like, Don't, don't, don't be mad at him! Please? Alright, well, uh, are you attempting to demoral- Are you attempting to demoralize or coerce him? Coerce. Is there a check- Is there a check I can do to, uh, uh, combat that? Uh... Can I do deception again? Because yeah. it worked out so good the first time. Deception? Uh, it's, basically, it's basically against... It's actually against your will DC, which is 18, and she passed it. Ah, dang it. I can't even do a will throw? Mm. Oh, oh, can I do a will save? Actually, you know what? Yeah, go for a will save. Aw. Uh -huh. See if it actually works. Well. <laughs> you were better with the That 18. was almost a one. Oh, wow. No, that was an eight, I think, right? Or was that, that was a, a seven. Uh, yes, but it rolled over from a one to the seven. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was almost a one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that would have been funny. I was... Okay. But Hoshimi is, is glaring right into your eye. Into your eyes. And when you look at hers... Her left eye actually seems like it flashes for a moment. Like in a pattern on her eye. I'm... I'm... I'm different, okay? I won't ask you again. Hoshi! I've been asked enough times, okay? I'm different. That's all I'm saying. Um, a seven gets oh, in between oh, them. And what's wrong with being different? Aren't I no different too? Nothing's wrong with being different. It's the kind of different I am that I hate. Uh, seven is a little surprised at that. I'm not good different like, like you. I'm... The, the, everybody else, the fact that I'm different is all they care about. Okay, I didn't think this... You want different, Flint? You want to see different... I can't believe I'm about to do this. <sighs> Huh? Neither can I. <laughs> what are you talking about? Hoshimi takes a, a couple of steps back from everyone. And... Yeah, you know what I'm about to do, Josh. 
Well then. Last chance to back out. Nope. Oh man. Oh boy. Man, major plot reveals here. What the fuck? She... <gasps> yes! I knew it! I told it! <laughs> yes! Wait, what? Uh, uh, uh. Are you a kid? I don't I don't know how to flip my token, though. I, I'm working. <laughs> On Hoshimi's, on Hoshimi's head, a pair of fox like a pair of fox ears sprout up as her human ears disappear, and a long swishing fox tail comes out from behind her. Out of character. Oh my gosh, he's hollow. I'm back. <laughs> Sorry. I'm uh, back. And you you take missed a it. Oh my gosh, you poor thing. Witnessed what? What happened? Um, okay. Uh, Hoshimi confronted, uh, Flint about the roar. Flint is not spilling the beads as is and basically said, I'm not a good kind of different. Um, Hoshimi says, you want different? I'll show you different. And she just revealed to be a... What, what do you call that? Kitsune. Oh, shoot! So here's what I'm here's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say that because he was still kind of a bit woozy from the poison, Shylan had actually been in the tent recovering for a bit. So he hears some noise. He steps outside and he sees that. I've missed something, haven't I? Oh, Jimmy's ignoring you, and she's looking directly at Flint. You want to talk about being different? Talk about talk to me about being different. About have about having to hide what you are from everyone around you for fear of losing your life. What what do you mean? Why would people hurt you because you have ears and a tail? Because it makes her different. Because and people love to blame whatever is different for their misfortunes. And because I was the first of my kind to set foot in this land. I don't know if any ships have come from my home since then, but I'm likely to be the only Kitsune you'll ever see. And I don't want any no, I don't want the wrong people to learn about me. People who experiment on animals. Because this isn't my true form still. I'm just giving you a hint of what I am. <clears throat> Can't say I've ever had it that bad. So you want to talk to me about being different, Flint? Try again. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you about being different. You're saying you were fleeing for your life? How about not having a life at all? How about the only thing that people care about is the fact that you are... That you are... Flint, Flint just screams and rips pieces of his hair out, revealing what's underneath. Ah! Flint's eyes go wide. Underneath are two dragon horns. Nope, she's gone. <laughs> um. Uh. Doomed. <laughs> <laughs> you see? No, I'm kidding. I'm. No, I don't want the doom. I don't. <laughs> what, are you, what are you trying to do? Uh, she was seeing if she was gonna faint. It was just an icon. Yeah, just... She's gone. You see Adrian... One revelation was too much! 
The second one, flop. You see Adrian walking up slowly. Winch drummer. Yeah. Remember, uh, so cute. that approaches you is either terrified of you or just wants to know where you came from. Oh, you know the heroes of Fantastica. Can I have their autograph? No one Flint. wants to get to know me. Flint. No one wants to get to know and, and anybody who doesn't know who I am, they're scared of me. Sorry, uh, Shalomuto defendant just places a hand on his shoulder. Flint. I didn't know who your parents are, and frankly, I still don't care because I am the last person to ever judge someone by their family. I don't care who your parents are, I don't care what you are, I care about what you do. Then you've been doing good. He's right. Hmm. I suppose this is... I suppose this is going to sound extremely hypocritical coming out of me. But it's not good to hide what you are. Who you really are. It's I not... do it out of necessity. It's not who I am that's the problem. It's what I am. I'm a commodity. I'm a gateway to the people they really care about. Not to I'm me, a it's... bridge. That's all I am, is I'm a bridge! That's all people care about is what my parents did! Yeah, I don't give a crap about your parents. I mean, they were heroes, yes, but I don't care about that in relation to you. <laughs> Quite frankly, neither do I, because, well... I'm ni I'm relatively new to this land. That and... doesn't make a single bit of difference to me. Ari, and... uh, uh, you well... your new traits? Olin... She didn't fully pass out. That would have been a critical fail. Um, but she did kind of just, you know, wave of dizzy and woozy. Uh, but then she walks over to Flint and just kneels down and hugs him. Um, like, squeezy hug squish. Like, full on hug, burying her face in his hair and whispering, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know myself. No, I... If I had... I... I'd like to think that I wouldn't react that way. But I know that there's a possibility that I would have treated you like that too. Before all of this, and I'm sorry. Are you actually? She pulls out the Dragon Song book. Are you yeah. actually that? Yeah. She drops the book and holds him tighter. I'm sorry. I didn't. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No, it's not. I would have... I didn't... I should have... I know that... I have that... I can't even say for certain that I wouldn't have reacted the way you fear. Because I would have been so excited to meet you. But at the same time, that's not all you are to me. It's... And I'm sorry that's... That that's all you were to other people. That's one of the reasons I was so excited to be in a different town. I could get a new start. Nobody knew who I was. I could be... A hero that was just his own person. And 
Anytime I made a friend who didn't care about my parents, I, I it's always my fault that they leave. I had I, can't. I had a friend once. I made a mistake. I never saw them again. And that's why I was thinking if I didn't say anything and I just was who I wanted to be, it wouldn't happen again because I, I like you guys. I'm not gonna lie and say that I would never want to meet your parents, but they're not why I like you. I've... I can't lie to you and say that that would never... that I would never be interested in meeting them. Because you don't deserve a lie. But I am honest when I say that... I like Flint. Not because he's Flint Windstromer, but because he's Flint. <clears throat> and Flint, methinks you may have been putting too much stock in the thoughts of others. If people only care about you because of who your parents are, quite frankly, those idiots aren't worth your time in the first place. And besides, well. we've all known who Adrian is for a while now. Wait, we have? He looks over at Ace. <gasps> we just have, huh? I'm oh, she me pinches the bridge of her nose. Are you an idiot? Oh, uh, he wasn't there when Adrian signed his. He wasn't there when Adrian signed his name. Neither were several of you. Hmm. Um, Flint. What? Um. Does this mean I can't? be your friend anymore? Because I know your name? You can be his friend. Anyone can be his friend. I don't even know what his name means. Why is everybody... Why is everybody freaking out? I, I don't get it. Okay, long story... Long story short. If you had a... Imagine you had a parent who was a great hunter, and no matter what, whenever someone spoke to you, all they wanted to speak about was your parent who was the great hunter. Eventually you start to feel like you don't matter, only your parent. That's how he feels. And we're telling him that we care about him because he is the great hunter. And it has nothing to do with his parent. I, I, I don't even know your parent or parents and I... You, you you helped me and and you 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 didn't hurt me and uh, she kind of lays her lays down and puts her head down in front of him and just has this big puppy face right now. Don't go. I'm not gonna go. I mean, please don't just... in the middle of the desert. That would be a bad idea. I, I just. Don't... I don't care who your parents are. Don't go. I'm not gonna go. Because I I like Shylin. I like Seven. I like Oshimi. I like Adrian. I like Sybil. And Flint puts his uh, face into Owen's shoulder while she's hugging it. I don't like Owen. <laughs> That's adorable. Adrian, you were saying something? Flint is not the only one with famous parents. The only difference is... I hit it. And I and I only let it, I only disclose it with a couple of people. Lucia Crator, 
Mikhail Sienza, Braxian Udalin, and Alexandria Alpenwhisper. My closest compa my closest companions. I feared what happened to Flint would happen to me. I never used my last name. I was always Professor Adrian. Only two, but only two of you. But I was Professor Adrian Tanliel. To a select few. My, my dad always told me to be proud of my last name, but a lot of good that did me. Well, live well coming forward about this. I suppose you already know that I am a uh, sign of the Valentines. Yeah, um, yeah. the colors were kind of a giveaway. As and the money. Plainly as was plainly reading your name when we were incarcerated. That's yeah, true. but you guys don't know how much the Valentine name is. Like, mm. uh... We are very, they are very wealthy and influential and directly in. Hmm. <sighs> um, technically speaking, uh, Edgeworth is my, uh, my parents changed their names when they left. So, while huh? Edgeworth is my name, it's not the original name. Uh, well, uh... My mom's family... My mom's a grey elf. Her family's kind of, um... Her family was the kind of people who would lead the lynch mobs. Lynch mobs. And, of course, my dad is, um... My dad's like me. So they left. And Wait. they set up shop in Directian. Hang on. I, I'm confused. You mean a tiefling like you, right? Yes. No, she means an ostrich. Why would, <laughs> why would there be a lynch mob going after a tiefling? They're national heroes. Um... You know how we say, don't judge one, don't judge all by the one? It kind of unfortunately goes both ways. Um, besides, my mother's family is kind of like an old, old, old Grey Elf family who are kind of stuck in their ways. Anyone who isn't a Grey Elf is kind of garbage. Uh, oh. Oh no. You have to forgive me. But my mom's awesome! You may or have to forgive me. I may or may not punch your grandparents if I ever meet them. I've never met them either, so I don't know. At least give him a stern talking to, and then a punch. Okay, um. Picria. I wouldn't tell it would be in that order. It's like you, you hear Picria from the other side of the campfire. And I thought I had issues. Yeah, um, I was actually... <laughs> I was actually exactly about to turn to Picria. Hoshimi gives her a very, very serious look. This is not to be breathed about to anyone. You are not to talk about what I am. You are not to talk about what Flint is. We are not to talk about any of this. Am I clear? She gives a ungraceful kitten-like squeak. <laughs> Actually, Picria, I wanted to speak to you about something. Huh? Uh, oh, uh... 
Okay. And uh, Flint, if you wouldn't mind uh, talking to Owen. Okay. Uh, I have a question. Uh, Owen suddenly looks. Suddenly, Owen suddenly remembers that she's been hugging Flint for this whole time and uh, stops. <laughs> ah, oops. I hope you were able to breathe. <laughs> I, I, I've, I've been, I've dealt with the uh, smoke in the lab before. I, I can, I can breathe pretty well. Besides, how hard does his uh, mother hug? Uh, true. That's a good point. <laughs> if hugs could but, kill, I... they would. Again, throwing this in context, Pecria, I wanted to ask you a few things. Uh, sure. Uh, what is it? First of all, if we run into another fight like the bandits or that scorpion, what are you comfortable doing? Uh, I'll be honest. I'm not much of a. Uh, I'm not much of a fighter. I, I don't. I don't have a lot of skills. Like I said. Right. In that case, hmm, we'll keep in mind. So you want to stay? So you sorry? You want to stay out of the fighting when it occurs? Well, I guess I don't want to stay out. I mean, when I saw when I saw him get grabbed, I, I wanted to do something, but. Hmm. We're going to the Shaolin just gives her a contemplative look. We are likely going to be traveling further into danger after we get to Urzaban. If you'd rather set up shop there and keep out of it, I'm not going to force you into a dangerous situation that you don't want to be a part of, but if you do want to continue traveling with us, I might be able to help you help us. Hoshimi at, um, is Hoshimi Hoshimi should be in hearing range of that conversation. Yeah, right? he's not it's not like he's yeah. trying to keep <coughs> it super private. Yeah. You do know that I'm bringing her to Urzaban so she can have a job and start a new life for herself, right? I know, that's what I'm saying. If she wants to uh become a waitress and uh not have to deal with all the stuff we are dealing with, then that's fine. But if she wanted to keep traveling with us, then I oh. could help. I could help her help us. Don't become another Raymond. <laughs> uh, oh man. Well, um, appreciate it, but uh, I think I'd rather just get my life squared away first before I tackle something like that. Shalyn nods. Good, good to know. All right, so yeah. I think Seven wanted to talk to Cora. Cora or Sybil, whoever wants to talk to Seven. And then once that's over, I want to talk to Owen. All right, Seven wanted to talk to Cora. Yes. Did Seven speak? This will be funny. I can't wait for this. I'm muting. Yeah, me too. Uh, Seven is pawing at her tent. Uh, Cora goes and opens the door and pokes her head out. Yeah? Uh, you're not a griffin, are you? No, I'm not. It'd be cool if I was, but no, I'm not. Have you seen others like me? Thanks for a moment. Well, I mean, I had a dream that I hung out with a cat who drank a lot, and whenever you touched him, he had bad luck. And there was also a gnome, and there was a human, and there was, like, this weird dragon horde. And... But that was a really weird dream. I think I ate something weird that night. But otherwise, no. I haven't seen a griffin. Oh. Um. So how did you end up out here, then? Well, I was originally traveling... Oh, where were we going to? Karshir. Uh, Karshir? I don't have no idea how to pronounce it, but that's where we were going. And unfortunately, like I mentioned, uh, 
camp got looted. And the looters took something very, 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 very precious of mine. And as far as I could see, they were heading to Urzaban. And, well, when you don't have water in the middle of the desert, you're not going to last very long. Uh, does Shyland hear that? Uh, I'm actually going to have to ask you to roll a perception for that one, because, uh... Yep. Can do, will do. I'm going to say no. That's it. <laughs> Uh, what was it that they took from you? Well, it wasn't really something. It was more of someone. And I really want her back. And if I believe I know who did it, it's not going to be a really pretty sight. For anyone involved, honestly. It's, it's just a... Really nasty business and a really, 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 really long story. Nine years in the making, at least. <laughs> now that actually piques my attention. Can I roll perception? <laughs> sure, go ahead. Why not? <laughs> now everybody's interested in Cora. <laughs> I'm further away, but it, I did get higher, so... Um, no. Darn it! <laughs> Son of a biscuit-eating bulldog. <laughs> well, um, so they took a friend of yours, and you've been at issues with them for a long time. Are you going where we're going? Maybe we can help each other out. Well, like I said, the tracks lead to Urzaban. I don't know where in Urzaban they would take her, but... I mean, we're <coughs> heading in the same direction if you're heading that way. Does she look like you, too? Oh, no, 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 no. She's a half-elf. Oh. What's a half-elf? Uh, the, the, have you seen an elf? Uh, actually, I've seen a lot of new beads for the first time. Well, if you've seen an elf and you've seen a human, imagine that spliced together. As she just cocks her head, confused. Oh, I didn't want to have this talk. You see, when a man and a woman really love each other. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna kill- That is an aggressive pitch, Ari. Yeah, it was. We're gonna wind up killing this woman. <laughs> yeah, uh, Seppa kind of just looks at Sybil for a moment. So, so what are you then? All right, I believe it is Wei Yang. Wei Yang. Wei Yang. Wei Yang. Wei Yang. So Yang. Okay. Uh. Yeah, Sevakata is now looking at everybody. Like she does, kind of a weird eagle swivel around. Huh. Everybody seems to know what they are. Hmm. You don't? I'm... They call me Seven! And I... Thought I was a griffin. I mean, from the stories I'd heard of griffins, you look like one to me. Um... I don't think griffins talk like I do. I mean, if we were supposed to be what we are, some of us may not be on the same path that we are currently on. Maybe I could try to find a way to be like you. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't want to be like me. No, 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 no. Why not? I can't be like Sipple. He's too small. And I can't be like Shyland because he's too... something. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be like Hoshimi because she can turn into uh, a fox. 
and um and, and you're half like me, so maybe if I lose the the kitty part of me. <laughs> oh no! Uh, oh, this is uh. <clears throat> you know what? I'm suddenly really, really tired. Um, I'm gonna go to bed now. And she closes the door. Way to dip. Uh. uh. Hey, at least you didn't dab. <laughs> I, I I I can hear Josh giggling in the other room. It's really funny. Uh, she she again looks at Sybil like even more confused. Did I do something wrong? Not that I'm aware of. I just want to fit in more. That really make you so much happier to know that you fit in. Not only would it make me happy, uh, it would make everybody else happy too, right? Tell me, you think I fit in? Owen likes you a lot. So that must mean I. Fit in? I, I think so. Uh, I mean, the last person I tried to greet, well, other than Corey, um, um, she, she got really angry and yelled at me. Um, well, I would think that perhaps being liked is better than fitting in. Wouldn't you agree? I guess I just don't under... She scratches at her rod. I don't know. I just, I just want to be able to be a... I want to have a purpose for everybody. That's... I, I don't know what to do. She she kind of just plops down. Well, I think you're in good company then. Uh, Seba doesn't really think about it. Just plops her head on top of his. Contact. Well, yeah, wait. Contact. We'll say please. Also, out of character, why does Doc remind me of Ka from the Jungle Book? I didn't think that, that was quite that high pitched. I thought I was keeping it low. It's. I'm just, I'm just disappointed. It's like a lower pitched version of Ka. That's what I mean. I'm just disappointed yeah. he hasn't been doing the Vincent Price voice. <laughs> Okay, uh... No, that's Josh's thing. The gods. No, please, okay, no, so not with, that point. Okay, so with, uh, unfortunately, Seven, that is not a pass. And as soon as you try to rest your head uh, next to Sybil, it just... There's so much wrongness that you just can't... That you kind of actually kind of recoil back. <laughs> and she falls over. <laughs> Are you alright? Did I do something wrong to you? No, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. I am sorry that it feels different. It's okay. Just remember, next time. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Uh, she kind of just sits up and limps back to the fire. Okay, I'm good. 
All right, so who wants to talk next? Uh, can we do Flint and Owen, please? Sure. Cool. Yeah, so Flint is so sitting, still sitting right next to Owen in front of the tent, and he eventually just kind of stands up. Well, here you go. Flint Windstrummer, being of sound mind, boundless reputation, and slightly less hair. Drink it in. Well, I'm gonna well, press F down mm, the sound mind part. <laughs> um, that didn't hurt. Uh, she kind of reaches over and, like, near where your hair used to be. And a little, but I don't know when. When you hurt yourself a lot, you learn to kind of cope with it. But, mm, why did you? I understand you were trying to prove a point, but did you have to rip out your hair? I like your hair. Mm hmm. Oh, I don't know. I I guess I was just angry. It it makes me do stupid things sometimes. I You were angry at Hoshini asking about, you know, that floor? No. I I'm, I'm angry. I'm angry that I wasn't strong enough to to keep it secret anymore. Strong enough? That makes no sense! You, 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 you scared away a gigantic scorpion just by uh, yelling really hard! I, I have a gun, and I can't even do that! But you're awesome with your gun! You make yeah, shots and see things that I wouldn't even be able to see! Even, even if my goggles were like magnifying glasses, I'd be like, Oh, what's that? I can't see that. <laughs> You're awesome. But, but it's not about... <laughs> Keeping secrets isn't what makes people strong. It is if you're Sometimes trying to... sharing those secrets are what make them strong. It is if keeping a secret means you want to keep them safe. Every time that a friend I had knew exactly who I was, I screwed something up and I never saw them again. I don't want that to happen to you guys. But... <clears throat> I don't quite understand how knowing that, you know, you're... that uh, the, a windstormer would necessarily put people in danger. When I... That's one of the biggest secrets I have, and when I let it go, it means I'm 100% comfortable around somebody, and the more comfortable I am, the less careful I am, the less careful I am, the more likely I make mistakes, and every time I make a mistake, somebody finds out and they get sent away. I had, I had, I had a friend, Maggie, we were buddies a while back, and I told, she knew who I was, we were best friends for a while, but then I got too comfortable, I wasn't careful, and I accidentally, I, I accidentally, I accidentally blew smoke into her eyes and she was she was blind for like a day and then her mother found out she thought I was a menace she left town and I never saw her again I don't like it, it's like it, it's like I can't have friends because if I get too comfortable things like that happen and I always, I, I, feel, I just feel like if people, if I was always on alert and people didn't know who I was, then th th things like that wouldn't happen. 
I can't be comfortable around people. Or that'll happen. Um... I accidentally broke my sister-in-law's jaw one time by turning around too hard and she was too close behind me and she got hit with my horns. Uh-oh. Is, is she okay? She's fine. Um, she laughed it off and said she's had worse, which is technically true. Um, but... I understand that sometimes you may accidentally hurt people just because you're a little different. Even if it means, you know, <clears throat> emotional hurt or, you know, physical hurt in our cases. Yeah. But that... But that doesn't mean we're not allowed to make those mistakes. I know sometimes they're hard to bounce back from. I kind of didn't want to look at her in the eye, you know, for like a couple of weeks, because her jaw was all swollen and stuff, and I felt bad. But... Mm, it's... Just it's because hard. one person's just because one person reacted badly to how you're different doesn't mean everyone will. I don't know. That mom is mean. I don't know. It it's hard to be okay with making mistakes when all you do is make mistakes. And then Zoo comes down from under her hair and she gets on Flint's knee and looks at him like in the eye and then points to herself. It's like, no, you, 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 you were a good mistake. I can't think of a mistake you made today. <laughs> oh, ripping out my hair for one. I can't think of more than one mistake you've made today. <laughs> And Zoo, Zoo tries to hold in her laughter, and she's like, and then she, uh, Zoo climbs up uh, Flint's hand and, like, dramatically faints into his palm and then looks at him. It's like, yeah, I'm sorry, you didn't get a dramatic reveal today. I'm sorry. Uh, we already know Zoo's here. She, she, she gets upset when she gets left out. I don't know if a rat can roar like a dragon. <laughs> mm. She can definitely squeak pretty loud at night when she's hungry. Or when she, uh... And then he, he leans over to Owen and whispers, When she needs a bath. Owen's eyes widen. Oh, a bath. Oh. You know, I've never had a bath hot enough. I've actually had to boil water to add to add to bath water. It's just never hot enough. It always feels cold. Really? Yeah. Huh. Have you ever have you ever considered nature's heated water? I live in a city. Doesn't mean that they're not around, have you, you? You know what I'm talking about, right? Um... Hot springs? Uh-huh. I've heard of them, I've never been to one. Oh. Um, I don't Flint, even know where I'd go! Flint immediately takes out his notebook and writes that down on his to-do list. Take friend to hot springs. <laughs> well, I may not I may not be super familiar with the surrounding area, but I think I've got enough nature and tracking skills to know where you could find a hot spring if I had a little time to look, but time kind of be of the essence at the moment, so maybe later. Okay, hot springs episode. I'm getting ready to check that off the anime checklist. 
<laughs> um, okay, so actual question. Is, Flint, are you standing up? Uh, yeah. Okay, so she's sitting down. She's probably a little shorter than you when she's sitting down. So she's going to lean her head on your shoulder. Just sort of staring off uh, forward. <laughs> I'm still sorry I would have reacted like that. If you had just come out and said you're Flint Winstrumer when we first met, I know that I probably would have freaked out on you. And gotten all happy and fangirly and kind of how I was like with Adrian when I found out but a little bit more extreme because I didn't get to know you first so I am sorry B, I, 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 wanna, I wanted to be honest with you because honestly I'm, I've been super comfortable with you ever since we met but I I don't want anything bad to happen to you, and I also want us to be friends. I don't want you to be friends with the son of the heroes of Directi, and I, I... I'm glad we got to know each other before I said anything, because I don't know... From what you say, now you like me. You don't like... what You like who I am. You don't like what I am, and I... I'm happy about that. Although, I gotta admit, the dragon thing is pretty cool. <laughs> oh, you should see. I could. You, you, do you remember back uh, when we were fighting and then you saw that fire come out from behind smoke? Yeah, I thought that was a bomb! Ah, and, um, what do you call it? Flint? Flint uh, just takes in a small breath and then lets out a tiny little burst of fire. Ta da! Ooh! That's so cool! <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Let me press on. I'd say it's hot, but. Shut up. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Eh. <laughs> I heard Josh going <sighs> in the office behind me. <laughs> mm. I just. I am glad oh. that. You guys are kind of, outside of my family and my job, you guys are my first, you know, real friends, so I am glad I got to know you too. I don't, I don't like to admit it, but the shallower hero worshipy side of me probably wouldn't. I mean, I would have probably eventually cared about you, but it wouldn't have been the first thing I cared about. And I'm a little ashamed of that. Okay, very ashamed of that. <laughs> but I'm glad you're you, and I'm glad I got to know you before your name, you know? And I'm, I'm going to try and work on that on myself. I'm glad I got to know you. Any... Any of those people who just see a tiefling, they don't know what the heck they're talking about. I don't. I don't see it's... a tief. I don't see a tiefling. I just see Owen. Oh. Awesome, awesome Owen. Fantastic Flint, and she um, reaches up and sort of she pats his head, but she makes sure to. Pat the non reveal the parts of his head that weren't that didn't have hair ripped out because that's probably still a little tender. Yeah. Flint just kind of looks down and smiles a little bit, and then um, Zoo Zoo getting a little impatient actually reaches into his pack and. <laughs> Reaches into his pack and pulls out a small, like, brightly colored bomb. But then Flint picks it up with his two fingers and it's like, No, you can't use that yet. You'll get a bath later. And he shoves it back in his pocket. (laughs) 
<laughs> that was, uh, that was, uh, e experimental. Okay. You can make a bath for a zoo with a bomb? Yeah, I, I uh... Thank you! It's, it's, it's weird. It's an explosion of suds and fragrances. I, I've been working on it for a little while. I call it the bath bomb. And I haven't really tested it yet, but Zoo, I, I would say Zoo's second favorite thing in the world is taking baths. So I kind of wanted to, you know, maybe do it at some point on the road or at some point when we got back. But I don't know. It's still in testing. If, if I use it now, <laughs> uh, we'd probably all end up with soap beards. <laughs> I kind of want to see Adrian with a bath beard. I think that'd be funny. Everything he used as a disguise, and we all walk up to him. Hello, we represent the old gentleman's club. May we come <laughs> in? <laughs> you should have seen when I. You should have seen when I tested the first prototype. There was so much soap everywhere. I I slid all across the room, and I think I crashed into like fought, fought the wall five times, and <laughs> Stu was dying. She. <laughs> She laughed so hard. I didn't even know a rat could squeak that uh, squeak that high. She was laughing so hard. It does sound like fun. <laughs> hmm. But we probably shouldn't do it until we're in like um, a controlled bath because if we take a bath here in the fresh water, it could you know not turn out well. Yeah, and the last thing I want to do is spoil the water with soapy suds. We need that water. Exactly. Hmm. Well. I, uh, can we, can we do this again? This is nice. Sure. Thanks. And to be, be fair, Josh, one, to be fair, Josh, one of, <laughs> to be fair, Josh, one of those is mine, not Finn. Yeah. Shadows of the old world. Destroying Elatastica's dignity one name at a time. Me, we, we pray. <laughs> me, this is me and Ari. We were both one from Ari, one from me, and one from both of us. So <laughs> I mean, we're, we're a team. team. Oh, Sorry, we're a team. <laughs> I can hear Josh's brain cells exploding like popcorn. <laughs> <laughs>